Uh, we call it in Canada or in Ontario a marriage contract, but in the States they call it a prenup Is or it? a prenuptial agreement. No, it's not uncommon for people to actually do a marriage contract after they get married. It's just that the bargaining power isn't as great as it is before you get married. People are getting married later in life. Yeah. I mean, our parents' generation and the generations before them, they got married younger. Yes. They both started off with nothing. But these days, people are getting married a little later in life, partly because they're going to university, they're starting jobs, they're starting businesses. And so by the time they actually choose to get married, they may actually have some assets. Mm -hmm. And they want to protect those assets, or they want to protect their income. So a marriage contract is a sort of document that one can say, you know what, I, I love you, I'm going to marry you, but in the event that we go our separate ways, I don't want half of what I've accumulated uh, leaving the door when you leave. So that's why people do marriage contracts. Another reason is because people are uh, getting married more than one time in life. So uh, many of my clients, for example, didn't have a marriage contract when they got married the first time. Mm -hmm. They went through a, an ugly divorce and then they enter into a new relationship and they just want to determine or predetermine what will happen in the event that that re second relationship ends.